on the board, baby. Golly, that makes me want to cry because yeah, I, I picked the same one as Pat. Perfect. I'm done. <laughs> if you look at the standings, Pat's in dead last. Pat, and I just Pat's still trying. He's new here. He's still Pat trying to figure out the rules. Evans <laughs> running the football. I, uh, backup quarterback. That's what I said too. But You're you out. know what though, Pat? You are due. You are due. You're going to win. We're going to win. Hell yeah. Eastern Michigan. Let's go. I'm moving? going to take Butch Jones in Arkansas State getting nine at home against South oh, Alabama. He looked all week. He looked all week. Which where should I go? <laughs> me, where should me, I go? I could go this truth. one. I could go this one. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you what happened. Go ahead, this me. is the truth. I always pick okay. last so we don't do the same ones. I picked Eastern Michigan. Pat took it. Then I took Nebraska and you took it. Oh, wow. So this is third. But I, this is going to be the winner because I asked the people with Twitter to help me. 54% said go that way. Oh, it's yeah. Just, the public it's always gets it right. All right. Yeah. All right. There you go. You have it made for sure. Those are yeah, the standings. Man. Our celebrity guest picker, everybody. <laughs> fellas still up top. How about yeah. Christian Wilkins? Peyton came close. Hey, man, Nine he and two. took it very seriously, too. He did some studying. We talked about it on the plane. Oh, Sabrina, did, to Florida. Sabrina didn't have a good week, it looks like. Well, no, I she didn't, she had some didn't make, nah, she she didn't make the board. Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith is in your sweat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> as far as my picks, it's, listen, I'm going to go with whatever the heck Pat says. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm or go opposite. Well, let's start, <laughs> opposite of Pat, let's start with a couple of quick ones. Our Coors Light Saturday selections. The Magic City Classic being played today. Alabama A&M and Alabama State in Birmingham. I'm going to go with Alabama A&M because last time Alabama State played Jackson State, their quarterback got hurt, so he's iffy. So I'm going Alabama A&M. Alabama A&M, the home of Robert Mathis, the strip sack king in the NFL. They lost their first four game won the last three they're hot give me the bulldogs of alabama right. if you're shaky at the quarterback position i'm not going with you i'm going with alabama a and on this one i got go. alabama a and m xavier langford can spin it i think they win this football All right. game. good Ooh, good, good, good go. battle that's a tough that's start. a that's a problem yeah, everybody <laughs> across the board oh, oh, that's not good. Hey, congratulations to the hornets yeah, <laughs> michigan state of michigan tonight on abc um, I think that uh, Michigan is going to win this game. It's going to be a hard for first half. I think second half, the Wolverines will pull away, so I'm going with the Big Blue. Mel Tucker suffers his first loss to Michigan in the Mitten Bowl. Give me Michigan. Oh, I just want to say I'm just so shocked that Desmond Howard picked Michigan. I mean, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> We're going to go with Michigan. No, I think they're the best of the team this year. I think they're going to run the football effectively. I think they're going to wear Michigan State down. If we bring the hockey sticks out, I think Michigan State's got, State's got a real shot. <laughs> but oh, <okay>. it's, <laughs> and football, close first half because of a rivalry game. Michigan, Bear says not even. He thinks it's a blowout. I think they can hang around for a little bit. Michigan's yeah. too good. All right, Cincy and UCF. Knights coming off a beatdown by East Carolina last week. Yeah, I think this game will be a little bit closer, but I think Cincinnati's defense is going to um, take over, so I got Cincinnati win a close game. A lot of people thought maybe a game day location for this particular game because Cincy and UCF obviously have been so damn good in that conference. The better team, though, Cincinnati. Give me the Luke Fickles running down to Orlando. I concur. Cincinnati's the better team. I just think they're going to win this one. I'm worried because Bears in my ear over there about big, big opportunity for UCF. This is their week. They got a chance to really go after Luke Fickle. I'm going to go four across. I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Are you serious? Going Cincinnati right here. I think they can uh, win it. We'll have, a, we'll have a lot of those today, I, I think. I mean, yeah. You, UCF. I'll take UCF. There we go. And bounce hey, back thank there. you, Reese. There we go. Do it again. <laughs> thank you for saving us. Graphic, no, about, by the about way. Notre Dame exactly. and Syracuse? I tell you what, guys. Syracuse last week, in my opinion, they kind of outplayed Clemson but I lost know. that game. So I think that Syracuse understands who they are, what they need to do. They're not going to make the mistakes, costly mistakes late last week against Clemson to lose the game. I have Syracuse beating Notre Dame. Syracuse was on a once in a 20 year run. You know, you heard all the suits talking about how Syracuse was awesome. Be, 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 what? <laughs> they what? lose. What? And then they bounce back, I think, with Dino Babers, who's an incredible coach. Give me Syracuse while Marcus Freeman's still trying to figure out the culture of Notre Dame. Babers is an incredible coach. Obviously, they're still feeding off of the motivational speech I gave them a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to go with Syracuse. I got to tell you something. I look at Syracuse, and again, I don't think Notre Dame is capable of forcing them to make those late game errors that Clemson forced them to. See, I'm here for the ball club on some of these. I'm, I'm going to go Notre with Dame. Notre Dame. Yes, sir. There I'm we go. Oh, us, but I also got, believe bro. this. Remember, Syracuse was on fire. This is the best year they've had in decades, maybe. And then all of a sudden, they lose a close game against Clemson. They go back home, you get Notre Dame. Just wonder, do they have that same juice that they've been playing with? And Notre Dame, they need this win, so I think they get it done. Okay, North Carolina and take a giant step toward the ACC championship game against Pitt. Pat Narduzzi and Pitt, they're going to bring the pressure. But Drake May is going to 
to make some throws late. I'm going UNC Tar Heels. I like Drake May a lot. Give me the Tar Heels as well. Mac Brown will have it figured out because technically Pitt's defense should be able to handle Drake May in a pretty good fashion if you look at the stats. I like Mac Brown, though. Give me UNC. I'm picking Pittsburgh because somebody in the city of Pittsburgh needs to win. <laughs> I'm nervous here. You're, you're defiant. Bear picked him. He loves Pitt. I just think Drake May is that guy that can find a way to win. This guy's, by the way, scrambling, creating, throwing it all over the place, has a lot of different receivers. I think it's not going to be pretty, but I think Carolina wins. Yeah. Ooh, Luke May, the great basketball player at Carolina, little brother, is showing out for the yeah. Tar Heels right now. Yeah. Oklahoma State and Kansas State still waiting to see if Adrian Martinez can play. And that's a big concern because Adrian Martinez is such a huge part of their offense. So I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. I love their receivers. And Spencer Sanders, man, he's still playing at a high level. Yeah, he's an incredible football player. Beating Texas a week ago. I think those are good vibes. Ride them high. See what you can be. Give me the pokes. I'm rolling with the team that can put up points, Oklahoma State. That's what I'm going with. You can't say got to show me something else. Smart. Hey, 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 you know what, Manhattan, Kansas? Manhattan, Kansas is a tough place to play, but I, you got to give Mike Gundy a lot of credit. Finding a way, whether it's a low-scoring game, a high-scoring game, and his quarterback right now, through some injuries, playing incredibly well. Spencer Sanders will will his team late to win that you game. you got Kansas State, right, Reese? <laughs> I, I, I originally picked Oklahoma State, but now I want to go Kansas State. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight across. <laughs> Smart. Smart. Game is following us. Coming up, TCU and West Virginia. Trap game for TCU? It looks like that, especially on paper. But I tell you what, this TCU team, a resilient team, they're a defiant team. Max Duggan is playing at a very high level, great dual threat quarterback, and they love him. They love him because of his story. Lost his starting job, didn't pout, didn't complain, worked his butt off, became the starter, and has been balling. I got the Horned Frogs. I love TCU's team in the Big 12. Okay, I like what they've been up to. I like Quentin Johnson, a wide receiver. I think he's a hell of a player. Yeah. But you're going into Morgantown, okay? And they're Mountaineers for a reason. They're a hill up there. There are bars ready to be unleashed from one side of Morgantown to the other. From High bars. Street to Grant bars. Street and all the houses in between. They're celebrating, knocking off a top 10 team in Morgantown today. This is the first time I've been able to pick the school I went to on this desk. Yeah, yeah. And it's because the other team's playing them. Give me West <laughs> Virginia by 10 to 20 today, Steve. Usually Ray. when West Virginia makes noise, particularly when they win a big game, it's because they put a whole bunch of points on the board. It ain't because they stop anybody. Doug is going to get off today. That's I'm right. Going with TCU to knock off West Virginia. Just you were great, great, man. Great, great, man. Man. I thought you were <laughs> I'm just trying to be there for you. I'm just trying to be there for you. West Virginia, <laughs> it's, it's like this, right? Yes. You're just going to hope that the Hills and, and the, the way they play. C.J. Donaldson, Bryce Ford Wheaton, J.T. Daniel, Graham Harrell. I just, I just think TCU with Duggan, you guys have talked about them for the last three or four weeks. They're just too many points. 45 points a game. They're going to outscore them. Yeah, man. Okay, we're skipping over Florida, Georgia, because everybody's picking Georgia. The other SEC game, Kentucky and Tennessee. Tennessee, Kirk, no pick. He's calling it. Who wins the catch of the balls? I like the fact that Cedric Tillman returns today against UK. I think that uh, Tennessee's offense is just too much for Kentucky's defense. I got, I got Tennessee winning big. I think this is going to be a good game. I don't believe it's going to be big. And I've been baptized in the waters of the Tennessee River, and I appreciate <laughs> those balls and the Vol Navy down there. Give me Tennessee winning, but I think it's going to be close, Stephen A. Bringing up baptism. That's what we're doing. Okay. Let's <laughs> Let me I did a backflip into This the kid Hooker is special. <laughs> yeah. He is my vote for the Heisman. 100%. A okay. uh, 571 yards. At I mean, again, uh, again, uh, yes, sir. 50 yep. points a game. Another 50. Ooh, today. Ooh, wait. <laughs> That's what hey, I think. I got hit a half a <laughs> let's, do, let's do this one right. real quickly. <laughs> Ole Miss, Texas A&M. We talked about the issues at A&M, so I'm going Ole Miss. Ole Miss trying to build for something real special in a couple weeks. Give me Ole Miss. I don't know what the hell is going on with Texas A&M. They're going to lose this game, too. I'm not picking them for anything right now. I don't like the way they look <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's the time. You know how college football is. You don't like them at all. That's usually when they show up and play okay. well, and they win. They're back home. Bear likes them. Uh, I, I just think Ole Miss is deep. Defense could be the difference in this football game. AM's trying to find an identity. I don't know if they can find it against Ole Miss. You got, you got AM? Four and no. I, I, I was Stephen A. picking them for anything until they do yeah. something. Like Stephen A. Penn State and Ohio State. 
This is um, the Buckeyes' second time leaving Columbus. The first time was against Eastern Michigan. I think the results will be the same, but I don't think that they're going to beat Penn State as bad as they beat Michigan State. So I got Ohio State over Penn State. I'm with you. We've talked a lot about it today. I'm with Ohio State and the Buckeyes continuing to prove they're pound for pound the best team in the country right now. Stroud, 28 touchdowns, four interceptions, mm -hmm. unstoppable in the red zone, mm -hmm. and you're going up against a team that y'all just articulated had struggle, tr struggles tackling last week. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Penn State is going to lose this game considerably. I, I see I see a atmosphere at Penn State keeping the game close. I think the Ohio State offensive line communication issues could be a concern. Eventually the game settles down and it's about execution and that's where Stroud, <laughs> the running game and the big plays, second half they pull out. I marvel at this guy. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> when he knows in his heart, somebody's yeah. going to get blown out. Exactly, He's still going right? to find something nice to say. I'm trying to, I want to be this man when I grow up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's worked out okay for you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Southern, that's the hat rig. This is State, Jackson State is 7-0 for just the second time in 60 years. Southern and arch rival, they're at the top of the SWAC and all the standings. Jackson State has the best defense in the FCS. Forget all the records. They're ready to blow out the subwoofers in the Boombox Classic. Jackson State and Southern is an atmosphere unlike no other. We're focused on trying to do better than what we did when we played them last year, not be scared, go out there and play our game. What the world is witnessing now, what's been going on for ages in uh, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, the intense rivalry, but now the world gets to see. It's a level of excitement, but then there's a level of expectation. We always talk about we put on for our city. We need to put on for our city for real. We got to make this the best thing that ever happened for Jackson, Mississippi, and we got to win. Who wins the game, Jackson State or Southern? This is a heated rivalry. Last year when these two teams played, after the game was over, there was a fist fight. They do not like mm. each other, but Shadur Sanders is going to be the difference. You're going to have to be patient because they're going to rush three and drop eight. But I got Jackson State first. Yeah. You know, Sanders obviously gets a lot of attention, and he should. But B. Sean McCray, the quarterback on the other side, has been outstanding. This is an offense, by the way, from Southern. 39 points a game. This has a feel of potentially a shootout type of game, but we're here to celebrate what Jackson State's been doing with Dion. I'm going with Jackson State. Okay. When I heard that Stephen A. Smith was going to be the guest picker, oh. yeah. Yeah. I pontificated profusely <laughs> about what I was going to wear. I put a tie on on this Halloween weekend to show respect for Stephen A. and everything he does on the day-to-day -day in the suit on TV. You, Last night, I got to eat a little Johnny T's. I went to the Boombox Battle of the Bands last night, and it was the most electrifying thing I have ever been a part of. You walk around campus, and they say, Fired up, Jay State. Fired up. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about Coach Prime. <laughs> Coach Prime says, This is a moment. I need a moment. The moment ends with that song being chanted all evening. Give me Jackson State like they won the battle of the bands last night. It's really very simple. <laughs> it's really very simple. <laughs> fly down here this morning to watch my brother prime time lose a game jackson state went eight consecutive years losing the southern before they broke that streak last year and they beat them they ain't gonna do it again jackson state big time today they take them out yeah. that's why i'm here that's why i'm here i'm here to watch jackson state and my man prime time mess up and lose this game they're gonna handle their business and make and make sure to remind 